Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Santa Barbara Zoomcast. I'm Joe Parker and I'm with Petra Bumer of the Mindful Eating Institute. Petra, how are you doing today? I'm really well. Thanks for having me, Joe. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you. Really nice to see you as well. So um, we're going to share with our viewers what you do and um, you basically, you're a therapist, you know, right? And, and mm -hmm. you're helping people understand um, their relationship with food. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing to help people? Right. Uh, a long time ago, Joe, I got my master's degree in behavioral psychology in Germany in Hamburg and came to Santa Barbara, long story, taught smoking cessation for the neighborhood clinics for six years, moved over to Samsung where I taught weight loss and worked in health education. And it's a phenomenal prog uh, program. However, people who are struggling with emotional eating need more help. So I started my Mindful Eating Institute to help people understand when I reach for food and I'm not physically hungry, what am I really feeding? What am I really in need of? Oh. So the main question is for everyone or anyone listening, struggling with weight and body image issues. When you reach for food, you're not hungry. What are you, what is your heart hungry for? I ask my clients. Oh, so you're, you're, you're instructing them or coaching them to have that awareness to kind of not yes. be reactively mind, mindlessly yes. reaching for something. It's like, check in, am I really hungry? Do I need something or is there something yes. else behind it? Very good. So checking in, tuning in, understanding um, the relationship between our true needs and then the desire to take the edge of, especially during the pandemic, I'm sure a lot of people, I see all the posts, where can I get the best chicken wings in town? Where, where's the best pizza? Where's the best? And I under, I really, really understand. I've been having a little bit more wine this year too. And uh, I feel it's time um, to let go of that pandemic as i call it you know oh, some right. people call it the covid 19 putting on that extra weight and it's just a gentle encouragement for anyone saying you know don't start another diet i have research that proves diets only work very short term if you don't look a little bit deeper at the underlying issues yeah so yeah. you're aiming to make that lasting change that yes. shift um in awareness that's going to be able to, to create healthy habits in the future, healthy behaviors. In right, the so I really teach people self-nurturing, self-mothering, and if I can share one case study of a woman who was lovely and very smart, very successful in business, and could not drive by crush cakes without getting a sweet treat. Right. And she would say, I need a treat. And I said to her, I get it, but what you really need is not more sugar, you need a break from dealing with the stresses at work, dealing with the maybe demanding relationship at home. So she and I worked on strategizing how she could delegate more, set healthier boundaries. And she was finally able to not jump into crush cakes and self-soothe differently. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Okay, well, um, and so as we're um, approaching a new year, a lot of people are eyeballing those New Year's resolutions that uh, we like to set and are very difficult to keep. Um, yeah. So this is good timing that you can introduce what you do to help people. Yes. And I have, imagine you have an offer that's available for people. Yeah. Who work I want to, just before I go into the offer, I just share, would like to share my favorite quote, which yeah. goes like this. Self-care is not just chocolate cake and soft baths. It's creating a life you don't need to regularly escape from. I like it. And what I can offer is people can go on my website and see I have a 90 minute reset and recharge life balancing session, which could be a good start for the new year. I don't believe in new year's resolutions or quick fixes. Then I have a four week a program and also a three month program. And I always offer a free consultation to see if a client and I are a good match. And um, oh, through the month of January, I offer 20% off all programs, which should okay. help. Excellent. All right. Yeah. And I'll post your website in the comments, but mm -hmm. remind us what is your website? It's mindfuleatinginstitute.net. 
mindfuleatinginstitute.net. So it. that's where yes. people could find you if they want to yes. learn more. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, that's yeah. a very generous offer. I hope that you get some people taking you up on this. It'd be a benefit to them if they could make these changes, a benefit to you to help you grow your business. Yeah. And I'm very good at it. I'm not just passionate, I'm really good at it. I, I was hired by the County of Santa Barbara. I gave talks at Cottage Hospitals Grant Rounds. It's really my passion and my calling to help people be at peace with food and their body. And Excellent. That's all the time we have. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, congratulations on finding a, a calling that, um, that you Thank really you resonate all. with and, and you do well for other people by. Thank you so very much. And to all the listeners, be good to yourselves. You know, it's, it was a rough year and we'll get through this. And Santa Barbara is a phenomenal place to live. I'll never leave. And this is uh, my true home. And thank you, Joe, for what you and your guys do. It's really yeah. awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Much. So welcome. All right. Well, thanks again. Right. Have a wonderful day. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>